Yo, k -Pace Guy here. What's up, YouTube? So this is a really highly anticipated video that I'm making. And I know that a lot of other YouTubers have made this video, and I was planning on making this video as well. Because in the comments, I always get questions about OLEDs and their burn-in issues, their image retention issues, banding, and so on and so forth. And so I really want to go ahead and clear this air right now, especially with the new year already being here and new televisions coming out this year. Is there an issue with image retention and burn in on my OLED panel and the answer is just plain no. I have no issues whatsoever and here right in front of us I have my LG C7 from last year, actually from 2017. Um, I had this for about maybe a year and a half now, almost two years and it's been flawless. I have no issues whatsoever with image retention and burn in. I'm going to go ahead and put that right now in this video. No issues at all. I'm not going to say that throughout all OLEDs there's no issue because I'm sure there is. There is some burn in from certain, some certain, cali excuse me, some certain manufacturers from certain it's like Sony panels. I know some Panasonic may have some issues, um, but my OLED, this one at least, has not had any issues whatsoever. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on for you guys just so you can get a look at it, just so you guys can see something while I'm talking about it. But again, this is a C7 from LG as it fires on here. And if you guys are not familiar with, with OLED, OLED is, um, they use a different type of technology than LED or LCD panels. They don't get as bright, but they get as dark. And so with brightness, brightness is one of the biggest things that can contribute to image retention or image burn-in. How you use your television is going to decide if you're going to have these issues. If you use your television a lot in a bright room, you're going to have your brightness up pretty much max, if not close to, and that's going to really encourage your burning. That's what's really going to stick that image to your screen. That's where you're going to get image retention. And just in case you don't know what image retention is and burn-in, there are two different things. I'll explain both. So image retention, let's say, so I have a still image here. I'll turn down the, the ISO for you so you guys can see the picture a little bit better. I'll go ahead and zoom in as well. Here you guys go. All right, so if you look there, we have a still image right now. So this is just the interface of the Fire TV stick. And you have still images. You got the Firefox panel, the photos, Hulu, ESPN, so on and so forth. These pictures are still. They're not moving at all. And if I was to leave this on the screen for a while and then go to a different screen or a black screen or a different channel, something darker than the screen I'm seeing here, you may see a little bit of ghosting, a little bit of um, that image stuck in the screen. Now, image retention goes away after a while. You may see um, the previous screen in another screen, but after a while, those pixels will refresh and you won't see it anymore. Screen burn-in is when this image right here is stuck in your screen forever and you can't get it out. So if I leave my TV on for an hour or two, maybe three, or if I fall asleep with my television on, on this screen, you're probably gonna have this screen burned into your image, depending on how bright your screen is and how long you had it on. Image retention means that if I leave the screen on for a while and then turn it off or I go to a different screen on the television, I'm going to see the outline of maybe some of the rectangles or the fella in the top right there or maybe the words at the top left, the home, the your videos, the movies, etc. You're going to see that just for a little bit, but it'll go away. If you leave it on long enough, that image retention becomes burning and then you have that image stuck in your screen forever, no matter how many times you turn it off, no matter how many times you change the channel change to a different input, whatever, it's going to stay there. So for me, I haven't had issues with that at all. There is absolutely no burn-in and I've had my TV for about almost two years now. And so it's been doing really, really good. I know I get a lot of comments, a lot of questions asking me, um, hey, do you have any image retention? I made a video in the past about it and I still get questions now to this day. I made it about two years ago. So I still get questions about it to this day and a lot of people fear getting OLEDs because of image retention and burn-in and I can promise you um, throughout all companies, they're not going to have too many issues with burn-in and image retention. Every now and then you're going to get image retention because um, a lot of networks, maybe like CNN or any kind of news network or any kind of um, video you watch that has a consistent banner in one spot, you're going to have a little bit of image retention. No worries though, it goes away rather quickly. Most OLEDs, if not all, have some kind of setting in the menu where you can refresh the pixels so that you don't have that issue or you can wipe that issue away. But burn-in is a much bigger issue and that's going to come 
based on how you use your television. So again, if you're in a bright room, you're going to have your brightness all the way up pretty much all the time so you can see it. And that's really going to influence and burn in. If you're watching your television all day, every day, or if you're using it for maybe a company purposes, business purposes, and it's always showing something, maybe like some camera feed, something like that, you're going to have some burn in. Um, that's why people don't like OLED. They like to use LEDs or QLED from Samsung because they can keep it as bright as they possibly want and you don't really have any burn-in. Now you can get burn-in, but it's not as susceptible as OLED is. Um, different panels and different light technology are used in the two different technologies. So you may have um, better time with a QLED or a LED from another company than you will have OLED from maybe Sony, Panasonic, or uh, LG. So image retention and burn-in is solely on how you use your television. If you're gonna be watching your TV in a dark room, you're not gonna have your brightness up too high. Um, you're probably not going to have it on very much um, throughout the day, maybe maybe two or three hours a day, four hours a day. You're going to be fine, no problems whatsoever. If you're one of those people who fall asleep with the TV on all the time, um, you should be fine as long as that image is always circulating, always changing. But if you're watching something that has a stagnant type banner, a flag, any kind of logo that stays on your screen throughout the night, then you're going to have an issue in that spot where that logo is. But usually you're pretty fine as long as that picture is moving. So I've fallen asleep before with a screen just like this in front of us, um, just stuck on the screen throughout the whole night, and I've had no issues. I haven't had any type of issues. I've, I've fallen asleep with the Xbox on. I used to play Xbox on the television all the time, and I usually watch YouTube on Xbox. And I constantly have um, YouTube stuck on its screen throughout the entire night, six, seven hours on end, and I've never had any issues with burn-in. Now, I've had seen some image retention, of course, because I have my TV on for seven hours or so, but that goes away within minutes. So it's not an issue. So this year, guys, if you guys are looking for OLED panels, definitely go get one. I'm going to use this screen right here as an example. You just saw that the Fire TV just switched to a screensaver mode. Most TVs switch to a screensaver mode when they're not used because of burn in and image retention. It tries to keep the TV moving to a different image so that you don't have that issue. And most TVs do that now, if not all. All Fire Sticks do that. I'm sure Apple TVs do that. Roku Sticks, after a while of not being used, they start to pan um, a lot of different screensavers that you have set or whatnot. And it keeps that TV from burning again. So you're really not going to run into it unless you're just. Um, accidentally leaving it on too long or constantly watching the same things with the same logo, same image, things like that. And if you're watching it at full brightness, you're gonna have a little bit of issues, but not the issues that people are really scared of. Nowadays, the technology is really, really good, so we can kind of avoid those issues. So if you guys are looking at OLEDs this year in 2019 with the C9 coming out and the rest of the line from LG, or you're looking at a Sony or a Panasonic, or even the new Philips OLED televisions, definitely jump on those, guys. If you're not, um, if you're not too far out from the price of OLED, go out and get one. They're fantastic. I'll go ahead and show you guys the uh, viewing angles really quickly of OLEDs. They're fantastic. They get inky black. They're really good. They have crazy viewing angles. We're actually on the side of the television and you see we didn't lose any brightness. We didn't lose any contrast or color. It's just a phenomenal television, especially this one from LG here. So we'll put you guys back on the front. So. The viewing angles are amazing. So if you're watching in a large theater, a large room, you're gonna have multiple seats. You want to get an OLED so that every person sees the same thing across the entire, um, the entire room. LEDs are not able to do that. As you start moving to the side, you start to lose contrast, you start to lose HDR, you start to lose color, you start to lose just absolutely everything. It just does not look good. Um, I think after you do leave about 45 degrees on either side, you start to lose a lot of your color accuracy and your um, your contrast your brightness your darks everything just looks kind of gray and you're kind of skewed so definitely look at an oled for getting an oled if you don't have an oled now if you do have an oled don't worry about anything in the future it's going to last you a while but you have to make sure you treat it well just like anything else you have in your home theater or you're just in your home in general or you're just in your life overall the, the better you treat it the longer it's going to last same thing goes with oleds you don't want to leave them on all the time you don't want to have the same picture sitting on them all the time for a long period of time. You don't want to blast them at full brightness because you will have some issues. But if you treat your TV good, it will treat you good. And that's what I've gotten with this television after about a year and a half or two. This TV has been um, like new condition, no issues, no drop pixels, no dead pixels, no no ghosting, no image retention, no burning. My TV has been um, sensational. 
And I'm speaking on behalf of the LG series. I haven't had any other OLED besides this one here. And I haven't had any issues whatsoever. So I'm always gonna stick with LG's OLEDs because I just love the way that they handle their picture. It's amazing. Um, Samsung QLEDs, if you guys are still fearing OLEDs, QLEDs are just as good as OLEDs. For the most part, there are differences um, that make OLEDs better in some aspects than the uh, LED or the QLEDs, but QLEDs are really, really good. They're really expensive, but they're really, really good. So if you guys are looking at a QLED, definitely jump for that. But if you guys want to go to an OLED, have no fear. The TV is fantastic. You guys are watching some stock images right now on the, uh, on the Fire Stick, so... It's fantastic. Just look at the picture, guys. It's fantastic. So, if you guys have any more questions about image retention burning, definitely ask me down below in the comments. I answer everybody as quickly as I can so I can get your questions answered pretty quickly. So, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Hit that like button if I've helped you out a little bit on the OLED issue and leave a uh, comment if you're using an OLED TV now, if you're sticking with LED. And definitely hit that subscribe button so that we can uh, see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good day. Keep this guy out.